Patel here. Good evening, and welcome to the Magma Fist Awards 2020. Thank you, Terry. Welcome everyone to the first Monkeys With Fire Magma Fist Awards, generously sponsored by Titan Forge Miniatures. You join us on an auspicious evening as we acknowledge and celebrate the outstanding achievements of the channel's viewers in miniature painting and hobbying. 2020 has proved to be a challenging year for us all, yet it has not dampened the ingenuity, creativity and technical ability of our entrants. The quality of the submissions was outstanding, each worthy of the highly sought-after Fantastic Award and causing much deliberation for the judges. Fantastic! Before me, I can see the entrants walking down the red carpet. Let's see if we can speak to a few of them before they get settled in their seats. Hello, Mr. Rosa! You're live on Monkeys With Fire. Would you like to say a few words to the viewers? Which would have given me much more space in the room to, uh, to do some cool tattoos. Say tat. Tat. Say to. Toot toot. I've got a feeling this is going to bite me in the ass later. <laughs> <laughs> well, Pascal, we're certainly glad you chose your arm over your booty, as I'm sure we'd be violating multiple streaming guidelines with that photo. Whoa! Who is that speeding down the red carpet? It is, of course, Mr. Snowyak, the island painter, the world's first cyclist painter. Mr. Snowyak has a complete painting station set up upon his handlebars, allowing him to paint stunning miniatures across vast distances. He wears those protective glasses to prevent paint washes from whipping up into his eyes due to the tremendous speeds he cycles at. Welcome to the awards, Mr. Snowyak. Oh look, who is that glamorous, well-spoken lady over there? Aloha, bitches. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cuss. I'm sorry. Social distancing, of course, has been a priority for this year's awards, and Super Sarah is not taking any chances. Safe, and yet incredibly stylish, Sarah's apocalyptic testicle chin COVID face mask looks absolutely fantastic. I'm certain socialites around the globe will soon be wearing this glamorous accessory, as who wouldn't want a zombie's nutsack perched upon their chin? Our organisers feared that Lornor might not be able to attend tonight's event, as he has not left his home in over five months, such as the volume of painted miniatures. Much like the children's fable of the magical porridge pot, the product of Lornor's miniature painting has overflowed into every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, henhouse, outhouse and doghouse in the area. Thankfully, our agents were able to remove a window from his home and airlift him to this evening's ceremony, brush and mini still in hand. Who is that over there? Looks like we have a latecomer. Well, hello there, Chris. This is not the hall you're looking for. The 2020 Magma Fist Awards are being held in Hall H. While we have you, I wonder, could you tell us what you thought of the rise of Skywalker? In your view, was it a satisfying conclusion to 43 years of fandom? Oh, stunning. Stunning. Look at, look at all the detail. <laughs> so good. Well done. As we head to the auditorium, I can see Canada Chris making his way to his seat. Of course, not to be confused with the previous faux Canada Chris, it appears that Chris has already availed himself of the Monkeys With Fire apparel store. Genuine Monkeys With Fire merchandise is available for purchase on the channel's about page. It is the perfect gift this holiday season. So did you like what you saw here? Of course you did. Make sure to go click the link. Yeah, click that link. Mm, click it. Click it so hard. Yes. Just like that. Mm, yes. The categories for the Magma Fist Awards 2020 are as follows. Best Single Miniature 28-32mm Best Single Miniature 54-72mm Best Monster, Creature or Vehicle Best Diorama, Battle Scene Best 3D Printed Model Best Bust Best Technical Painting Open Competition The People's Choice Award If you do win an award tonight, come up to the podium, accept your award, thank your agent and your god and then f*** off. We want no tears, no long speeches, we're on a schedule here, and we've got ad breaks to fit in. It's already three hours long. Okay, on to the first award. Best diorama or battle scene. This category is for scenic displays. The subject of a diorama should be appropriate to the background of the world in which it's set, but otherwise there are no restrictions on the diorama scene, theme, or content. 
The diorama must be mounted on an appropriately sized base. And the nominees are... Amberdon, Lornor, Roger, Super Sarah 1313. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Best Diorama Battle Scene is... Super Sarah 1313. Congratulations, Super Sarah. You have the double honour of being the first viewer to win the soon-to-be, highly sought-after Magma Fist Award. Here it is in all of its splendid glory. You'll also be winning a pack of miniatures from Titanforge that do include the Magma Fist for you to paint up. And of course, a Monkeys With Fire Magma Fist sticker. Best single miniature, 54. 72 mil. This category is for any scale appropriate sized miniature mounted on an appropriately sized base. And the nominees are Amberdon, Lornor, Not Right 9469 Tom, Valkyrie 6. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for best single miniature 54 72 mil is Valkyrie 6. Best Bust. This category is for any single bust mounted on an appropriately sized display stand. And the nominees are Amberdon, Lornor, Super Sarah 1313, Valkyrie 6. Let's take a look at their work. I haven't seen a bust like that since Blankety Blank. And the winner for Best Bust is Lornor. Best Single Monster, Creature or Vehicle. This category is for any single large model mounted on an appropriately sized base. And the nominees are... Chris M. Lornor. Perry. Super Sarah 1313. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Best Single Monster, Creature or Vehicle is... Perry. Mini Painting Machine There are some in the hobby who just don't know when to stop. They continually put those of us who are more methodical, more precise. Some might describe us as slower, to shame. This award is to acknowledge their speed of painting, and so that we can send Phil and Grant to their homes to break their bloody fingers. For this award, the judges acknowledge two viewers, Lornor and May Leneth. Best 3D Printed Model This category is for any single painted model printed using home 3D printing technology. And the nominees are... Lornor, Mr. Snowyak the Island Painter Super Sarah 1313 The Nerd YYC Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Best 3D Printed Model is... The Nerd YYC Best Miniature Booty. I really can't justify this one. I'm so sorry, Mum. It's just... I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. But when a girl walks in with an itty-bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get... Whoa! And the nominees are... Lornor. Effexes. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Best Miniature Booty is... Lornor. Best Technical Painting. This category is for any single model. Entries must specify aspects of technical painting attempted for the judge's consideration. And the nominees are... Chris M. Lornor. Miren Irati. Perry. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Best Technical Painting is... Chris M. Best Single Miniature, 28, 32 mil. This category is for any scale-appropriate sized miniature mounted on an appropriately sized base. 
Anthe nominees are Mikey R.R. Mr. Snowyak, the Island Painter. Perry, the Green Skinned Carnifex. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Best Single Miniature 2832 Mill is. Perry! Most improved painter. Each week I have the genuine pleasure of hosting the Community Gallery to share your work over the past seven days with other miniature painters. Seeing miniatures develop through stages, from primed to base coats to finishing touches, mirrors the journey we are all on as we progress in skill from basic to intermediate to advanced painters. The winner of this award is an individual that both Pascal and myself commented on during one such gallery where we recognised the significant steps along the mini-painting journey they had taken. The winner for Most Improved Painter is... Mr. Snowyak, the Island Painter. Open competition. This category is for any single entry, including everything from single miniatures and vehicles, to dioramas, busts, larger scale miniatures, small armies, or themed collections, and anything not covered by the MWF Community Awards 2020 categories. And the nominees are... Gerard Monster Mireni Ratti Mystical Unicorn Painting Perry Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for Open Competition is... Gerard Monster The People's Choice Award. Viewers were invited to vote for their favourite entries, and your votes have been heard. The winner for the People's Choice Award is... Super Sarah 1313. Most promising new talent. To be a miniature painter takes a particular set of skills. Skills that are acquired over a very long career. Skills that will make you a nightmare for people like... Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong award. That's best wet works operative. But to be a miniature painter does take a particular set of skills. It takes patience, commitment, creativity, imagination, the ability to follow instructions and to listen to others, to face failures and develop stronger from the experience. These skills are acquired over a very long career. However, this individual is already demonstrating that they are on the right path. Let's take a look at their work. And the winner for most promising new talent is... The Boy TM. Monk is with fire, community hero. There are some viewers in the community that have placed an indelible mark upon the channel. Those that have supported the channel with their positive comments in the chat, or by playing games during Friday's TFI Games Night, or by just simply letting me know that we don't have any cats on the audio. This award acknowledges those that continue to support the channel stream after stream. And the nominees are... Roger, Chris M. Lornor. Super Sarah 1313. And the winner for the Monkeys With Fire Community Hero is... Roger. Monkeys With Fire, top subscriber. While not at all necessary, those viewers who choose to support the channel via donations and subscriptions are greatly appreciated, as their contributions directly support the channel and in turn the greater community. This award acknowledges two pillars of the Monkeys With Fire community, individuals who have supported the channel with their painting, gaming, community spirit, and not least their generous subscriptions since the earliest of streams. The winners for the Monkeys With Fire top subscriber go to Paranoid Spectre and Mr. Snowyak, the Island Painter. And so that concludes the Monkeys With Fire Magma Fist Awards 2020. I'd like to thank Terry for being a fantastic co-host this evening. I'd also like to thank Titan Forge Miniatures for their generosity in sponsoring tonight's award ceremony. My special thanks go to the Simeon Collective, Pascal, Sarah, and Snickson for their efforts throughout the year. 
My congratulations to all of the winners. The entries were outstanding across the board. It just leaves me to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a happy, creative and productive New Year. But until 2021, bye for now.